Welcome to an Alaska homestead where we're becoming more self-sufficient on a remote island in southeast Alaska. We got two big projects this year. Hold on, let's just take a moment and realize that I had a little piece of wood chip stuck in my mustache, but when you are running a chainsaw, you <clears throat> run the risk of uh, getting some wood chips in your beard. So that, anyways, that's what it, that is. Uh, it, it, it annoyed me the whole time I was editing this video, but it is what it is. One is we're getting a wood mill, so we're gonna have to clear some area in the back to set that up. And the second big project is we're getting a wooden turbine. Here's what we're clearing right here out, and we're gonna take down these trees right in this little area. So basically, it's gonna go smack dab in the middle, and then uh, it needs to be 20 foot from a tree that's why we're gonna take some of these trees down and give it the 20 foot distance. The guy wires are gonna come down and they sh we'll just protect them so no driftwood uh, comes into contact. We'll just set up little obstacles around it. So in this video, we're also doing some area beautification. We had a tent that fell down and it destroyed a bunch of stuff. So we had to make a trip to town for that and uh, dump the stuff off. And then we're just cleaning up, uh, cleaning up our general area here. So let's rewind and go back a couple days and we had a bunch of, of uh, stumps that I brought up to the beach here and we're going to bury those and, and clean it all up. But before we started burying the stumps I made a trip to town to go on a dump run. So this is how we do our dump runs. We load up a super sack, uh, forklift it into the boat and then we just offload it into our truck and take it to the, to the landfill. I made an old man. Story. He took out an open and wrote something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road, and I watched him disappear. The winter winds haven't left us yet, so on the way back the winds had picked up and uh, it wasn't such an enjoyable trip as it was going to town. Here's all the stumps that we uh, had dug up from the, the, the back 40 and uh, we basically just took them out to the to the beach. Uh, eventually I knew we were either going to burn them or bury them. I think the easiest way to uh, get rid of them was just to bury them and then that way we freed up a little bit of uh, dirt that we could use to build this pad for the wind turbine. So that's what we did.
So this should bring us to present day. This is what it looks like now. I'm gonna take this wood that I had off of the stumps and we're gonna split it up for firewood. But there you go. We got this all cleaned up. We've got a couple of nice pieces of driftwood. You can see we've got some rocks pulled up. We're gonna put them on both sides of the logs. That way when the tide comes up, if, if it pushes anything against the logs, they'll stay pretty stationary. Oh, somebody's got done laying an egg. Then we come over to this side. There's another big piece. We buried all these stumps. So this is where our picnic area is gonna be. Uh, we've got that here. We're gonna bring our picnic table here. We've gotta put a little fire pit right there. We're getting our wood all stacked up for the fire pit. I used that saw buck and um, cut up some more pieces of wood for the pit, the fire pit. And then we gotta finish making some, uh, some of our garden beds and get those filled with dirt. And then we're gonna have to get some compost and bring over here and get that knocked out.
goes the uh, Coast Guard. I wonder if somebody had an accident. I mean, it is blowing. It's not blowing as bad here as it is out there, but it's definitely blowing 30 knots here, 30 to 40. I brought the picnic table over here. Uh, this is just a mock-up fire pit. I just wanted to, to mark out where I wanted it. We'll bring some larger rocks in and, and make a, a proper uh, uh, fire pit. So we're supposed to have a big windstorm starting tomorrow and uh, I thought it'd be a good time for us to take these trees down. They're not, they're not tall so it wouldn't even be a big issue but um, they're close to the panel so don't take anything for chance. <laughs> go that's out of the way and I think the other ones we can just push down we'll see all right so we got that guy taken down I think the other guys we can just push down so we're gonna go fire up the tractor 
bring it over and see what we can make happen. Uh, we're in a bad spot because the sun's shining right on me, so it's cloudy, but we're gonna see if we can just push this tree over with the tractor. I'm gonna try not to harm any chickens in the process. But they love digging in this fresh dirt because there's, you know, worms and grubs and stuff down in there. All right, chickens, let's go. So that worked out pretty well. We've got some of the smaller stuff down. There's a couple of more trees behind me that uh, we're gonna have to take down with the chainsaw. So let me get that thing fired up and we'll we'll get over here and get these suckers toned down. And then, then we just need to level it up, make it look pretty and, and then that'll be it. So the base doesn't get here till May, but uh, I thought um, I'd take advantage of it and get the stuff knocked out while we had some sunny weather and some uh, it wasn't uh, as windy as it typically is here, so that's what we're doing. All right, so we got uh, some of the stuff cleared out of the way. We're going to go ahead and start falling some more of these trees. So um, we'll get the camera set up here and get these knocked down. And then the rest is just going to be some dirt work. And then we'll, we'll uh, buck them up and, and the alders will keep for, for firewood or for smoking. The alder's good for smoking, so uh, we'll cut some of that up and use it for smoking too. This branch was growing into this tree and then uh, the tree was starting to grow around the branch so those would have been combined forever. So I got the majority of the, the big stuff cleaned up. So now we're gonna drop a couple of these bigger alders. I moved the tractor out of the way just in case, but uh, they're all pretty much standing straight up. So we shouldn't have any issues. Anyways, let's get them dropped. And uh, then, then, like I said, it's just clean up after that.
I thought that one was leaning pretty much straight up and down, but when I got back there and looked at it, it's actually got a pretty good lean backwards. So I'm gonna go get a wedge just to be on the safe side, and we'll get it taken down. We got an ax, we got some wedges. Let's go over there and get this one down too. Well, I'm burning the slash pile. I got a lot of cleanup to do still, uh, but I'm gonna put a, a, a wrap on this video. So anyways, uh, tune in next week, see what we got going on. And always remember, live free.